number five. Welcome to Tricky Digitville, the town where numbers are every little thing and every much everywhere. The people who live here are called the devious digit maniacs, and not without reason. The digit maniacs do nothing but think about number games every second minute and hour of their lives. So get ready to match your wits with the terribly tricky digits. Here is the picturesque Digitville Forest, one of the Digit Maniacs' most delightful picnic spots. A favorite question Digit Maniacs will often ask is, how far can a Digit Maniac go into the forest? Seems like an easy question, but it's tricky. How far can a Digit Maniac go into the forest? How far? Watch out for this one. Halfway, because after that, the maniac is on his way out of the forest. <laughs> Get the picture? These are the challenges of Digitville, and these are the mischievous ways of its maniacs. Now, this is the office of Dr. Adderbones, the leading doctor of Digitville. A favorite treatment of Dr. Adderbones is to prescribe anti-maniac pills. If Dr. Adderbones prescribes one pill every half hour, how long would it take a patient to take three pills? This one's not so simple. The answer is one hour. Since the patient would take the first pill right away, the second a half hour later, and the third a half hour after that. And Digit Maniac pills are hard to swallow. Now, Digit Maniacs love to play dominoes, meet Donald, and meet Dennis. They each played three games. Each won three games, but they were not tied. Why? Tricky, tricky. Look again. They weren't playing each other. Now, to get away from nasty numbers and to breathe clean air, Digit Maniacs often take buses to other cities. Here's a bus ride with a curve, so watch carefully. The Digitville bus starts out empty, and at the first stop, it picks up seven Digit Maniacs. At the next stop, three get on and five get off. And the next stop, Four get on and two get off. And the next stop, two get on. And at the last stop, one gets off. Okay, here's the curve. How many stops did the bus make? The answer, five stops. Were you counting digit maniacs? Sure, there were eight maniacs on the bus, but that wasn't the question. Well, now it's time to leave Tricky Digitville and all its hysterical numericals. Here in Digitville, even time can run out, and it has. Game number six. The final game. This kit is imaginary. But the places and things along the way are real. After a two million year visit on the planet Earth, the homesick space creature, BLT, prepares to return to his faraway planet. It is time to play a space scramble. Aceps Gevoya. Unscramble. Five, four, three, two, one. Time for Space Voyage. Here at the Stargaze panel, BLT guides his ship to outer space. Passing the planet Mars, all seems a-okay. Suddenly, the crisis monitor reveals Irodetsus approaching. Irodetsus, 
Hero debts us. What are they? DLT must navigate around these Hero debts us to avoid hitting one that is 600 miles across. Five seconds remain. What are Hero debts us? Unscramble. Three, two, one. Asteroids. They are asteroids. That was close. Suddenly, crisis monitor alerts. Watch out for Refugit, largest planet in solar system. Its atmosphere has great red spot, three times size of Earth. Refugit has many moons. What is it? Unscramble, three, two, one. It's Jupiter! Safe. <sighs> no harm there. Time to relax. Again, the warning light. Warning, warning. ELT approaches fearful and dreaded Clavicilo. A collapsed star with force so great, nothing escapes, not even light. It is invisible. Clavicilo! It's now or never. Unscramble. Three, two, one. Black hole! BLT, you made it! Now, BLT, unscramble the password to your destination, Axagali. There are billions of these in the universe, made up of stars, dust, and gas. Unscramble, Axagali. Three, two, one. Galaxy! DLT is home at last, and there she is, rest them. After two million years, dinner is still hot and waiting. DLT's rest them. Who is it? Unscramble. Three, two, one. Mother. Aseps Gavoya is over. BLT's successful mission has avoided collision with Irodetsus, Refugis, and survived the nothingness of Labakilo. At last, he arrives at his home, Axigali, and finds his dear old weapon. Pleasant dream, BLT. And good night. Brain Games is now... Over. <laughs> okay, get ready. This is a memory game, and you must watch carefully, because the picture that you see is gonna disappear. So what's tan and has a tongue? You got it. A mouse coming back from vacation. <laughs> Julius Caesar lived until 44 B.C. B.C. before chocolate. This tiny little fella is less than one inch when he makes the climb into his big mama's pocket. And it'll take another five months before he pokes his head out and says, Hi, Mom. A favorite treatment of Dr. Addybones is to prescribe anti-maniac pills. To sneeze or not to sneeze. <laughs> Why do fleas jump so high? What else has a flea got to do? Watch television? <laughs> sure, there were eight maniacs on the bus, but that wasn't the question. Pleasant dream, ELT. And good night. The preceding program has been recommended for family viewing by the National Education Association.